I will say database object. And we'll go ahead and we'll open that up. And we'll get rid of all this. It's not a model behavior. And it's not a class. This is actually an interface. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that there. And let's go ahead and we'll take a look on what it is we're using. So we'll come down. This doesn't do anything with it anymore. The list view actually belongs to that one, so we're not worried about those. We can actually close these for now. Uh, this is the database quality. So we need the other two here. This one. I'm going to on the first one. So what do we get here for the the generics? We're using clone. So I'm just going to quickly write these down. And clone doesn't return anything, but it takes a generic type T. These are all public, so. So we're going to be cloning T. Uh, what else do we need? That is it there, but we're going to need a few things here. Uh, on GUI. To be honest, this actually doesn't need to have any generics in it. And we'll just quickly come through the code. Uh, we're creating a parameterless version. That's fine. And it looks like that is it. These are the only two things that I actually need to be able to do to uh, our items that we're putting in the database. So I do not actually mind making an interface for this. I just don't like the name of the interface. But for now, I'm actually going to keep it there. And I do need a way to clone. I'm not sure exactly how I want to clone this. Basically, it has to clone itself or its its own type. Uh, this is not really the way I think I want to do it. What I might do is just make it an ISS. Come on. Database object. I spelt it wrong, didn't I? Uh, Daba. Uh, <laughs> the base. It's all about that base. Uh, well, I said I didn't like the name, right? Uh, let's go ahead and we'll change this. This is the only script that's referencing it right now, so that's fine. We'll have to go ahead. I'm going to have to close it down. I'm going to have to go ahead and rename the actual script itself. Which is actually kind of funny because I don't remember where I created it. Hopefully inside of interfaces. There we go. And we'll have to rename this. It's going to be a long one today. We'll open it back up. There we go. So I can come into IS quality, tell it it needs to implement that. We'll go ahead, we'll deal with this one first. Actually, before we do that, IS object. We'll deal with it there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and implement. Um let's see, whoops. What did I just click? We don't want the assembly browser. Uh, I just want to see if I actually have these methods in here already. I do not. And it was clone. And on GUI. Uh, oh, this is new in, in uh, Xamarin. Okay, there we go. It worked. And I'm going to leave it that nice bright color there. I want it below these, so here. 
And in here, all we have to do is just um, go ahead and say our name is equal to item dot. Ah, oh, it doesn't have a name. Uh, but that's okay, because I believe we both classes uh, have a name and an icon and the exact same methods, right? So we have a name that returns a string and an icon that returns a sprite. Come in here. Uh, would you have a name and an icon? Let's make sure they're the same. Uh, icon returns a sprite. Name returns a spring. So I hate doing it this way, but it will work. So string name does not take anything. And sprite icon, which does not take anything. And we'll have to implement this. And let's spell it right too. All right, I'll quickly save that off. Let's come back in here. Uh, let's come back here and we can say item dot name. That's oh, icon, not sprite. Icon is equal to item dot sprite. Why is sprite not showing up? And it's because I called it icon. Ah, <laughs> oh, it sucks to get old. Icon. There we go. And that actually means that these next two are part of that implementation. And on GUI, I'm gonna to have to work with, uh, based on the way it works with the script, uh, the IS object. Well, this is turning out to be a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. So we'll probably break this up into two parts. But let's go ahead, we'll jump into IS object. Uh, it's clone is gonna be different now, isn't it? Uh, is everything saved off? Let's go ahead, we'll jump into Unity. Let's see what errors it's gonna give me. So it says it doesn't implement name. And it doesn't, because I'm doing it differently this way. Uh, and I just defined it wrong. And the same thing for icon. So I'll have to come back in here and change the implementation a bit. Actually, no, this should be fine. There we go. So now we're down to the clone part. So I'm gonna come down here. Public void clone that meets the expectation of our interface. Actually, let's just copy the whole thing. Now, of course, now that we're getting this built up, you can start seeing where our generic, maybe having this inherit from a generic might actually come in handy. So for now, that's all I'm gonna pass in between the two. We save that off, we'll jump back in. Let's see if the errors are, are gone. They are, and we got a new one. Okay, so it must be convertible to, oh, uh, uh, that's the original one we we're getting in this script, which is great, because now we can actually go to this class, which apparently I have open. And instead of being an IS object, we can go ahead and say that it's an II, S database object. Oh, actually, I just thought of something. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. <laughs> After all the time I just spent, I think it's gonna work. Let's see what we blew up. A couple things. Ah, because it's an interface, we can't have new. Ah, dang it. Let's go ahead and comment this one up for now. 
And it actually needed to be a database side, an actual class, because we have to be able to define a constructor for it. Ah. What time is it? Okay, well, we'll try to get this done. Uh, I'm going to break this one up over the multiple parts, but I will release them all in one day. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one here before we actually start into the next part. Uh, get some coffee into me, and when we come back, we'll go ahead and we'll try to fix that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I can be a pretty chatty guy over there when I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears.